Hello data scientists, I'm Troy, creator of datascientist.net and in this video I want to present tip number three and uh, because we're getting further into the tips I thought leadership really deserves a mention close up to the top end. So here we are at tip number three which is focused on leadership. So leadership to me in the data science sense as I've come to know it really is focused around knowing yourself and leading yourself into areas of greater value. And if you're able to lead yourself into these places of greater value, then people start to take notice. And this is a major difference or, uh, between uh, a controlled leadership and a leadership brought about by earned influence. So, and the good thing about this type of uh, leadership is that you don't really need anyone else to practice. You can practice on yourself in leading yourself into areas that you want to go to in terms of goal settings and task management, then you're able to practice whenever you like. And a great way to practice is being part of the study. So as I've mentioned in my previous videos, we're using a time awareness tool that helps you build about leadership of where you spend your time. And uh, here's the tool that I've shown a number of times before. It's, we've built it to run on uh, mobile devices and it's as easy as hitting the big time button and choosing your project that you've spent time on, adding your hours, a little level of satisfaction and a sport description as well as tagging it with relevant tags related to that time entry. So, in addition to that, all the data goes back into a MySQL database, which I'll open up a, uh, a report on that I've recently pulled down from the MySQL database. Now, this is my last month. My projects are color-coded, and here I'm using Tableau Public to visualize the data. And I can start to make a few changes in the visualization to get a sense of where I've spent my time over the last month. And I can, if I sort this projects by hours, I can see that, uh, oops, sort by descending. The most time I spend is sleeping. And the next is my project Delta, which is what I put the time towards my family. And then we've got things like my work projects, OK Ideas, Project Gaki is the work I'm doing with Bhutan, and so on. So with this information, I can start to make insightful decisions on where I might spend my time for my next month, or my next week, or my next day, or even my next hour. So, if you haven't signed up yet for, to be a part of the, uh, what we hope to be the world's largest longitudinal cohort study, please check out my site, datascientist.net, and go to datascientist.net slash the study, where you can see more information about the study and register. Thanks again, I look forward to next tip. And also, I forgot almost to mention that we're having another online meeting this week. So if you're able to register for the study, please come along also to the online meeting happening later this week.